There's a very widely held belief that wild primates who've been captured and been part of the pet trade and then rescued and kept in the sanctuary would actually be better off if we put them back in the forest. So although this is a very widely held belief, it's never been tested scientifically. To test this assumption, we used a number of carefully planned steps. The first thing we did was to move the animals from the sanctuary where they'd been living in a group to the forest where we had built a pre-release enclosure. And that pre-release enclosure was designed to be very much like the enclosure they'd already lived in. We put them in that enclosure um, so that they could acclimatize to the forest in a safe place and get over the effects of being moved from the sanctuary to the forest. Once they'd had the chance to acclimatize, we then released them into the forest. Once they were in the forest, we followed them every day very carefully, checked them in terms of their behavior and their body condition. Initially, we gave them food every day, making sure that every individual had enough to eat in addition to what they were eating in the wild because they started foraging in the wild straight away. We found that although the initial move from the sanctuary to the forest was stressful for the animals, so it provoked a stress response, once the animals were in the pre-release enclosure, that stress response decreased over time. And by about a month in the pre-release enclosure, their stress response was back to what it had been. Then when we opened the door to the forest, which we expected would also be a stressful experience, the mandrels walked out and their stress response didn't change. In fact, it continued to decrease over time, and after a year, their stress response was about half what it had been in the sanctuary, which suggests to us that their well-being was actually improved when they were put back into the forest. It's very important to have tested this common belief because now we have evidence to support the use of what we call a soft release. And until now, while this was recommended, there wasn't any evidence to show that it actually improved the animal's well-being.